All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all the praise to Abinawi, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak, Yahushar, Bashem, Kakwadash. Peace and bless all the blood ones baptized into the covenant for the mission of sin, which is um, our praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Heavenly Son, through the glorious Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to all the brothers and sisters that's in this New Testament, man. Covenant, right? In the covenant of this New Testament, right? Which the Lord gave us a New Testament. That's why you read out the what? The New Testament, okay? You wouldn't be reading no damn New Testament if it wasn't a New Testament, beloved ones. That's like going to read the Old Testament and there's no Old Testament. It's foolishness, all right? So don't let no man deceive you telling you there is no New Testament, all right? So today, I want to use the New Testament, which is the New Deathicated, New Covenant, and I want to show what is Scripture what is the scriptures according to the New Testament, right? Which New Testament would be like the watered down way of saying New Covenant, all right? It's just like saying Yahweh Shai, and then you say Jesus. It's like Gentile, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's lower level, right? So, you know, sometimes the beloved will say New Testament for people that's not really uh, aware of the New Covenant, so it'll make more sense to them. All right, because the New Testament and New Covenant is the same thing, but people are more familiar of hearing it as the New Testament, right? Which that is the New Covenant. All right, so I want to use the New Testament to show what is Scripture according to the New Testament. We're gonna get some few verses, and I'm gonna play the word for uh, Scripture in the Greek. Strong's G eleven twenty four, Grafe, Grafe. Right. And it's the uh, Greek word graphe, which is it says scripture 51 times a written, a thing written, the scripture used to denote either the book itself or its contents, a certain portion or section of the Holy Scriptures. It says graphe from 1125, a document, <clears throat> right, which is uh, uh, this Bible, holy writing or its contents or a statement in its scripture, okay? And you jump down to the Greek lexicon, and it says, Graphe, a, a writing, thing written, every scripture, namely of the OT. <laughs> what it says? Every scripture, namely of the OT, which is the Old Testament. Holy scriptures, the sacred books of the OT. Okay? And we have Romans 1 and 2. Which he had promised, which he did what? Which he had promised afore, meaning previously, by the prophets in the Holy Scriptures, man. And we know the prophets is it what? Uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, okay? Amos, Joel, Zechariah, Daniel. These are the prophets, man. You can't do away with them, man. There's prophecies in those books still to this day. They have to be fulfilled, man. All right? The Lord Yahweh Shah fulfilled his, his, him uh, bringing in a new covenant and dying, as the scripture have said. Not that all the prophecies is, 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 is uh, fulfilled. Because if, if that was the case, right, he would never say, think not that I am coming to destroy the prophets. Because if all the prophets was fulfilled, then he wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't even make sense, man. All right? Because it's still prophecies, man. He even spoke prophecy during his ministry, man. All right, or scripture. So Romans 1 and 2 says what? Which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scripture. So the prophets is, is all the beloved. Is even King David was considered a prophet, man. All right. So the Holy Scriptures is dealing with what? The prophets. All those books are scripture. Okay. So that's one example to show you what scripture is according to the New Testament. It's the prophets, man. Moses. Hey, was not Moses a prophet? Okay. All these beloveds. So let's go down and let's get some more verses to show uh, what scripture is according to the new covenant. We have, uh, we have uh, second, get my go-go second. Second, Peter chapter 1 verse 20 
knowing this first that no prophecy that what no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation right the scripture um break down itself man second peter 1 and 21 for the prophecy came not in old time and what in old time by the will of men no that's that's the law of moses for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man not this administration of death for the prophecy came not in old time right in the old testament by the will of man so it wasn't that's not moses law man you, you, you know what i'm saying the scriptures call it the law of moses because moses the one that delivered it to the children of israel right like the beloved always say man the lord gave the word man great was the company of those that published it man moses just published it man he didn't uh come up with, come up come up with the word of his own will and his own private interpretation man this is the, the lord's words man for the prophecy came not at old time by the will of man but holy man of god spake as they were moved by the holy spirit man all right like all the prophets man ezra's right hey is the book of ezra done away with i know all right so scripture is dealing with what prophecy man the prophecy of the scripture all right so these are examples to show you what scripture is so scripture is not done away with man you still have prophecies all right and if all the prophecies was fulfilled you wouldn't be scattered still if all the prophecies was fulfilled you wouldn't be scattered and if you wasn't under the law of moses see jake you say you're not under the law of moses but you're still scattered according to the law of moses man make it make sense man you are still scattered according to the law of moses so showing you the law of moses is scripture as well man the scripture uh shall not return vain man and void man so we see according to the scripture prophecy of scripture we have second timothy 3 and 16 all scripture no some scripture all scripture no just the book of galatians all scripture no just ephesians all scripture is given by inspiration of god no i guess the law, law of moses all scripture is given by the inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine remember the lord said well i give you good doctrine all right and is profitable for doctrine and reproof for correction man for instruction and in righteousness, man. So the scriptures is what, how we what? Uh, we reprove and correct, man. And instruct in righteousness, man. And this is dealing with your deeds, with your body. The Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to judge you according to the things you've done in your body too, not just faith only. He said in 2 Corinthians 5 and down, all right, you got to receive the things you've done in your body, whether they've been good or bad, man. So you do need to uh, <laughs> examine your goddamn self, whether you be in the faith. At least you a damn reprobate, man. And what? Sin and willfully. Right? Which we all sin, but the elect doesn't sin willfully, which makes them blameless, man. See that? That's why scriptures tell you they, they ain't going to do no wickedness. And, and he that is born of God cannot sin. Because what? The blood of the Lord Yahweh Shai and the Holy Spirit is what? Controlling your members, man. When you had the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit put uh, put discipline on you, man. You were able to mortify your members when you had the Holy Spirit on you. Because you were in your mind. You're not in your flesh. See, a lot of Jake is more in their flesh than they in their mind. See that? <laughs> and, and, and who's always in their mind? That, that wicked one whispering in their ear to commit wickedness, man. So, so uh, Paul tells Timothy, all scripture is given by inspiration of God, man. Not just the book of Galatians, man. All right. Let's get another one. James 2 and 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the what? The scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do will. Which is the second greatest commandment, which comes from what? The royal law of Moses. All right. That was given from the heavenly father, man, down to the children of Israel, man. All right, Moses being an intercessor, and all right, between us and, and the Lord, man. All right, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, man. That's scripture. Showing all these examples are showing what scripture is according to the new covenant. Okay, we have First Peter 2 and 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, in the what? It is contained in the scripture, not in the book of Galatians. 
Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect precious. He that believeth on him shall not be confounded. No, that's the law of Moses. He that believeth on him shall not be confounded, man. All right. So obviously, scripture is, is talking about what? These these prophecies, man. And we know uh, Peter is quoting from uh, Isaiah, man. He's quoting Isaiah. So Isaiah is scripture. Showing you all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, man. Okay? All scripture is given by the inspiration of God, man. Peter's quoting what? Clearly he's quoting Isaiah, man. All right? Did not he say what, uh, um, is it contained in the scripture? I lay in Zion a, a chief cornerstone. That's talking about the prophecy in Isaiah, man. Okay? Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tri stone. Hey, remember the new covenant tell you that rock was Yahweh Shah. Do your homework on Paul saying that rock was Yahweh Shah. A tri stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. The Lord Yahweh Shah is our foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Man. He ain't going to be hasty in this thing of ours. And the scripture says, he that is hasty with his feet sinneth, man. All right? So you got to have patience in this thing of ours, man. So according to the scriptures, Isaiah is scripture. All right? And uh, the, the law of Moses. It says, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. We get that in the law of Moses, man. Okay? And, P and Peter said what? That no prophecy of the scripture uh, was given by any private interpretation or by uh, the will of man. Okay, Moses didn't write the uh, the, the scriptures from his own interpretation, man. All his, that's his own breakdown. I, all right. <laughs> Let's get another one an example to show what uh, scripture, script, the definition of what the scriptures is. We have Romans 15 and 4. For what things soever... With things uh, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, what written when aforetime were written for our learning. No, I don't need that. For what so things soever were written aforetime were written for our learning. No, brother, we don't we don't need to learn. Uh, <laughs> we'll need to read anymore. For what things soever were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the what? The scriptures might have hope. Okay, so the scriptures is referring to the things that was written aforetime. Let's get the word for aforetime. Okay, come on, man. Do your homework on aforetime in Romans 15, man. Yeah. Strong's G, 4270, Pragrafo. 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 All right, so the word pagrafo is the word uh, aforetime, all right, written. What things soever were written aforetime were written for our learning. What's aforetime? aforetime? To write before of time of the old, of the what? Of the old set forth or designated beforehand in the scriptures of the OT. The blessing and the cursing. I set before you life and death, good and evil, okay? To write before the eyes of all who can read, man. To write previously. Okay, so this is talking about the law and the prophets, man. They was written for our learning, man. Okay, that we may have comfort through the Holy Scripture. So the New Covenant is telling you that what? The things that was written in four time were written for our learning and comfort, man. And hope. So is that the ministration of death, man? Nah, man. That's prophecies, man. Covenant. Law and order, man. Righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, man. And it's profitable for doctrine. I give you good doctrine, right? It's profitable for doctrine and instruction in righteousness, man. All right? This is this is how we instruct our people to act unto righteousness, man. All right? According to... Uh, the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Your righteousness of the Lord and also the righteousness... And your actions, man. Because what? The Lord is going to judge you for the things done in your body, man. 
Scripture says, let us not love in word, but in deed. So you have to have action, man. All right? Works. A walking in righteousness, man. Let us not love in words. So people can love you with word and, you know, oh, I just, I just, I just love you because I tell you I love you, brother. No. Love is an action, man. And it goes into what? Not sinning against your brother. That's real love. Okay. We have Romans 4 and 3. But what say of the scriptures? So Paul is telling you another example of what the scriptures is according to the new covenant. Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So that's talking about the Torah. All right. The first five books of Moses, man. All right. Which Ezra's had to rewrite, man. Romans chapter 4 verse 3. But what saith the scripture? All right. Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness, man. All right. So he believed in the Lord's words, man. You, hey, you got to believe in the word of the Lord, man. All right. So you can be counted as righteous, man. What the Lord said, man. Okay. It's not just, uh, you know, you believe and you don't know what the Lord didn't say. No, you got to know what the Lord said, too. You got to, uh, what? Eat his flesh, man. Eat his word, man. Abraham believed in the words that the Lord spoke, man. All right? And, and the promises, man. Which we need to believe in the words of, of the Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay? So he said, what say of the scripture? Abraham believed God and was counted unto him for righteousness. So Abraham believed in the most high according to the scripture so the new covenant paul is telling you what the scriptures is the scriptures is what the bible bro the law and the prophets man he's quoting out of genesis and he called it a scripture he, uh, you know peter didn't quote out of isaiah and called it scripture man so you know we're not teaching the scriptures is done away with we ain't burning no bibles up we ain't doing none of that man we come in straight volume of the book man and our righteousness is of the lord even the prophet says that, man. Don't mean we go off and bug out, man. We got Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith. So Romans 9 and 17 is giving you a, a new covenant definition on what the scriptures is. Right? For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh. All right? So that's Exodus, man. Romans 10 and 11. For scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So the scripture, that's talking about the book of what? Joel, man. He said the scripture. Shall not, whoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. Where's that at? In the book of Joel, man. All right. And also Isaiah. Come on, man. So the scriptures is what? Like the scripture says what? The things that was written aforetime, man. We don't have to go, you know, and uh, bug out on what's what's the Bible and what's not the Bible. That's what the damn camp's doing, man. People don't want to believe in the book of Hebrews. Then you got people that don't believe the law. Everybody's bugging the hell out, man, and need to repent and come in the volume of the book, man. Stop picking, choosing, and cherry-picking the Bible, beloveds. The Lord Yahweh Shah didn't cherry-pick the Bible. He came in the volume. So we need to follow his example, man. Even Paul is coming in the volume of the book. Paul is quoting all type of scriptures and telling you it comes from uh, the law and the prophets, man. Let's get some more uh, scripture verses, man. Showing you what the scriptures is according to this new covenant. Okay. Oh, I didn't even hit y'all with Hamashiach. What Hamashiach said the scriptures was. <laughs> Let's make it plain with Hamashiach. Let's go to, uh, we're going to start at John uh, 5 and 39. John 5 and 39. Search the scriptures. Search what? The scriptures, man. No, I do away with the scriptures. Search the scriptures. No, that's the law of Moses. Search the scriptures. No, that's the ministration of death. Search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, man. Then I said, if you, uh, good master, what I may do to inherit into everlasting life? And what he says, what? If you will enter into everlasting life, keep the commandments, man. Don't sin willfully. And they are they which testify of me, man. Search the scriptures. They testify of the Lord Yahweh Shai. You can't do away with that, them beloveds that testify of the Lord Yahweh Shai because you don't, you only like a portion of the Bible, man. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, nah, brother. Where's Galatians? 
he that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He's going to have the Holy Spirit, man. See that? So you have to believe on the Lord, you have a shot, as the scriptures have said, man. You can't be pushing another Jesus, man. All right, or uncircumcised you have a shy. That's basically Caesar Borgia here. That's basically Caesar Borgia here. If you're going to push an uncircumcised you have a shy, you're pushing Caesar Borgia here then, man. That's your, that's your Christ, man. Okay? We have John 7 and 20, 42. Have not the scriptures said, no, nah, no, nah, brother, that's the ministration of death. Have not the scriptures said that Christ cometh out of the seed of David? And out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. So yeah, the scripture, the scripture he referring to is the book of Micah. So that's scripture as well, man. Nah, brother. You know, that's that's the law of Moses. <laughs> John 10 to 35. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. No, that's the law of Moses. And the scripture cannot be broken. Alright, the Lord comes in the Bible of the book, man. John 13 and 18, I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but the scripture, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. See that? He fulfilled various scriptures. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. See that? Yahweh Shai is quoting King David and referring it to him. Because what? The same thing that happened to King David, how uh, Saul turned against David, Judas turned on Yahweh Shai, man. And he called that the scripture. He's quoting the book of Psalms, man. Which is really a, a scripture slash psalm of David, man. A holy writing of David, a grafe. Okay? Come on, man. So the scriptures, he's letting you know clearly what the scriptures is. Even John 19, 24. They said that. So Yahweh Shah didn't have Galatians to read, beloveds. He wasn't quoting Galatians and, you know, Ephesians and, you know, he wasn't quoting that, man, to the beloveds, man. He, They had the law and the prophets, man. Impocryphal books. All right. So the epistles didn't come till what? After the Lord Yahweh Shah was already in heaven, man. So we had the scriptures written for our learning, man. All right. That we would know all these prophecies of, of the Lord Yahweh Shah. John 19, 24. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it. Whose it shall be that the scripture might be fulfilled. That what? That the scripture might be fulfilled. No, the scripture is done away with. That the scripture might be fulfilled. Which say if they parted my raiment among them. And my vesture they did cast lots. Alright, so he's quoting the book of Psalms. Which he fulfilled that. See that? Do that mean every scripture in the book of uh, Psalms. In the book in, in Isaiah and Jeremiah. Is fully fulfilled? It don't mean that, man. It's talking about his suffering, man. Was fulfilled. That was written in these scriptures, man. Oh my goodness. Let's get some more. I mean, they got the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him should not be broken. John 19. But he's quoting all uh Psalms, man. John 19, 37. Again, another scripture. What? Another scripture. No, I, that's the administration of death. Another scripture saith, they shall look on him whom they have pierced, man. The scriptures, man. Everything that was written aforetime. The Lord Yahweh Shai never said the scriptures is done away with, man. Even Paul said all, all scripture. He ain't say some scripture. He said all scripture, man. They knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. See, Jack ain't even know these prophecies, man. Come on, man. Let's see what else we got. We got Acts 17 and 2. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them in three Sabbath days. Three what? Three Sabbath days. No, I, that's the ministration of death. Three Sabbath days reason with them out of the scriptures, man. So Paul came with the scriptures on the Gentiles, man. All scripture is given by inspiration, man. I have not uh, shunned to declare unto you all the, uh, the gospel of God, man. He brought it out, baby. Acts 17, 11. He wasn't trail mixing this thing of ours. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, right? Thessalonica. And that they received the word. They received what? They received the word with all readiness of mind. See that? They had the word in their heart, man. These beloveds was 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 honorable beloveds. Because what? 
they did their homework, man. These, hey, the Church of Thessalonica, they did their homework, man. And what they do? Search the scriptures daily. No, I, that's the ministration of death. Only read Galatians. And they received the word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so, man. You got to do your homework in this thing of ours, man. Let's get some more. I mean, Paul is showing by the scriptures that Yahweh was the Christ. Acts 18, 28, man. Huh? Romans 1 and 2 again, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures. Okay, so the scriptures is what? The law and the prophets, man. I mean, I showed a lot of examples of that. Let's get some more. Let's get a... Man, that's a lot of them, huh? Let's get some more. Let's hurry up. We have a... Uh, I want to get which one I want. We have Mark 15 and 28, and the scriptures was fulfilled. See that? This is what he was fulfilled, man. All right? Which said, and he was numbered with the transgressors. So, obviously, he's quoting what? The book of Isaiah and referring to it as scripture. So, the book of Isaiah is scripture. Now, do that mean the whole book of Isaiah is fulfilled? No. All right? That's why he says, think not that I'm coming to destroy the prophets. Because if he did, then... Uh, it wouldn't be nothing else to fulfill, man. So we would be already in the kingdom then, man. The physical manifestation of the kingdom, not according to the spirit, because we in it according to the spirit, all right? Because the kingdom of God is within the beloveds. Ah, oh, man. We got Luke 24 and 47, and beginning at Moses. Nah, brother, that's the administration of death. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets. Nah, just uh, Galatians. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets. No, just Timothy. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures. In all the what? In all the scriptures. Wait a minute. I, the book of Galatians. Beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures. The things concerning himself, man. So the scriptures is referring to Moses and the prophets, man. And this is out of the Lord Yahweh Shah's my own mouth. He ain't say, well, you know, think think that it's done away with. No, I think that it is done away with. Come on, man. That's just, you know, we're not gonna do that to the Lord, man. Let's keep it going. Luke 24 and 45. Then he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, man. So, you know, the Lord Yahweh Shah has to give you the spirit to understand the law and the prophets, man. Or otherwise you're gonna be bugged out. Uh like the unbelievers, man. Okay, so we, we have a clear example on what scriptures is according to the New Covenant, man, New Testament. It's the law of uh, Moses and the prophets. See that? Did Yahweh Shai say starting at Galatians? <laughs> Luke 24 uh, and 27, and beginning at Moses, and all the prophets no just the just just the, just a book of galatians and beginning at moses and all the prophets he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself man. so we see the scriptures is referring to the law and the prophets man okay we have the law and the prophets and then we have what the epistles and inside the epistles you're gonna find law and prophecies man because it's all one man it's all one book man you know it's all one body all one spirit all the prophets is all part of the Lord Yahweh Shai's body, man. All right? They not divided. You know, trying to divide Moses from Yahweh Shai. Like, Yahweh Shai and Moses was divided. When Moses was right there with the Lord Yahweh Shai in the new covenant, man. At the transfiguration, man. They not divided, man. Scripture says it's Christ divided, man. Yahweh Shai is not divided, man. So you guys that's pushing that division and trying to divide Moses from Yahweh Shai, man. And trying to divide uh, the word of the Lord and wickedness, the Lord is gonna deal with it, man. That's why I says uh, they uh, twist these scriptures to their own destruction, man. So with that, I'll pray that I'm not my shock, I was shy, and uh, you know, arise unto this light, man, this marvelous light, man, and repent.